Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I'm at Aquamarine Aquaristic to check out what is possibly some of Australia's best display tanks and to load my new dream reef tank up with some of the craziest colored sticks under the sun. Let's go check it out. Here we are, Doncaster in Melbourne at Aquamarine Aquaristic. You can see they've got Instagram, they've got Facebook, and of course, they've got the store itself. And if you really want to check out these two die for display tanks, as good as the videos are, you really need to get in store. But I'll do my best to showcase some of these amazing tanks. We'll start off with, ironically, the SBS tank, despite the fact that we're going to show that uh, goni there in the first place. Have a look at the crazy number, the crazy color, the crazy health, just everything about this display tank. The aquascape in it's off the charts. Check out the little clam sitting up there in between the uh, aquaporous sticks. Some of the fish in here are just incredible, but you just get absolutely taken away by the colors in this tank. And um, honestly, I could walk around this tank with my camera for hours and still spot things that I hadn't spotted before. Some of the colors are just ridiculous. Have a look at this red piece here. It's even got a little bit of yellow showing through, just absolutely beautiful. Some nice colonies really starting to grow out. It's not just all about frags, but um, even the frags just look so, so happy and healthy. And um, Everywhere you look, that scape is quite intricate and there's just more and more coral stuck in there. You can see a big ATI uh, T5 fixture with some Orphec LED light bars on there. It's not just about SBS though. There's a few torches, a few gonies, a few other bits and pieces in there. But realistically, it's about the SBS in this tank. And um, you can see why uh, Jacob is so proud of this tank, the store owner. He, he, this is a tank to be proud of. You see a nice healthy yellow tank in there worth a decent bit of money at the moment a nice achilles another uh hawaiian native no doubt that red cap there just ridiculous have a look at the uh, millies and spaths there come over this end you see all the um stags here a few different colors of stags and all looking so bright and vibrant absolute testament of obviously the time and effort and also the good equipment um, and water chemistry going in in this tank but it's just, it, it's hard to describe without seeing it in person. You really need to get in store and check it out. It's it's quite a simple tank, really, when you look at it. I mean, we've got a really uh, nice open scape, bare bottom, a couple of MP40s at this end. We've got a big T5 bank of LEDs, uh, uh, sorry, big T5 bank of lighting with some LED supplements. See this uh, crazy looking Bernarda Pora growing over or uh, something else there to make it look a bit branching, but... um. I don't know. I could talk about this SBS tank all day because that is why I came here. I wanted to get SBS frags. And this is the first thing you see when you walk in the door. And um, it's it's difficult to uh, pick your jaw up off the floor and move on. Check out these stormtrooper clowns just hanging out there in the um, goni as you do. They do also have a nice little uh, blue gig carpet you can see in the background there. We've got some beautiful uh, spotted anthias here just... Um, you know, hanging out as you do. So it's not just about the sticks, but uh, it is hard to get past the sticks. And it gets me very excited because I came here to buy Acropora frags. And uh, when you see a display tank like this, you know that uh, you're going to find some absolutely crazy pieces. However, it doesn't start and end with uh, SBS at uh, Aquamarine Aquaristic because they're probably, probably, believe it or not, more known for their uh, their LPS display tank, which we'll check out in a second. It's literally just to the right there. We'll scroll on across and show you that one. And uh, it's another absolute stunner. I just faded out there not to give away the ending of it too much. Check out some of the uh, Wilsoni down here in the corner. Just absolutely beautiful. A nice, healthy little gem tank as you do. Some of the craziest uh, hammers I've seen there. Umar, mate, you would die for this uh, hammer collection here. Look at the mottled yellow there. That's a legit yellow. See some golds in there. Check out this one here. A nice yellow stem with a teal head on it. We've got some crazy, crazy pieces here. Look at the uh, Cynaria there. True orange and yellow Cynaria. Just beautiful red heart on it. Some nice contrasting scenarios there with the true red and the green. Some more hammers up there that uh, just get take. They're showstopper hammers, but this left hand side there has just got some absolutely to die for hammers. You see some cool blastos. You get some acans, of course. Have a look at the acans in there. I'm looking forward to the time when uh, they fill up and just take over that whole bare bottom section there because. Uh, I mean, there's every color under the sun of uh, Acan there, especially that nice little yellow one there. Some rainbows, of course. 
we scroll across, it doesn't end there. We've got a nice little uh, forest fire nem up there. We've got uh, a couple of lobos here. Check out this yellow or lemon lime lobo with uh, the teal heart. Just, um, wow. I don't even know what else to say to describe that one. That's cool. The redactus behind there, just, you know, in the background, absolute showpieces. Come up here. What do we got? We've got a couple of little zoas ready to grow. We've got some goniaporas and very nice lobo as well. Check out this elegance up there. I've never seen an elegance like that. It's got like a, a translucent gold tentacle with a teal heart. Have a look at that on the picture there. The DSLR picks up the colors a bit better in still format. And then you've got this uh, just seemingly bright yellow Rhodactus just chilling out there on the rock. But believe it or not, we've brought the best to last for this display tank, and that is the Deshi selection. Holy hell, we've got like literally, this would be a house deposit worth of Deshi in this tank. Some of the most ultra, ultra, ultra deshies I've ever seen. And they're all in one tank rubbing shoulders with each other. Some of these pieces are gigantic. We're talking like the size of my head on those big red pieces there in the center. And they are true vibrant red. You've got nice yellow speckles there. You've got the, uh, the, the bleeding apples. You've got the pink speckles. You've got another yellow one there. You've got the more dominant blue ones. It's just, um, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> There I said it, it it's just the, the deshi in this tank are just um, unbelievable. We'll have a look at the close up there when you get a DSLR on the top down. Just blows my mind and um it's it's really difficult to gather your thoughts after seeing these two display tanks to get back on track. I'm here to pick up somewhere in the vicinity of maybe 10 nice Acropora frags. I'm just looking to get some of the premium stuff to get to the SBS in my tank started. So let's get on over and have a look at the stuff that is for sale because um the jaw, it, it, it's well and truly on the floor now, but this is just the first uh, frag tank that you can have a look at the pieces here. Look at the Montiporas there. Now this, believe it or not, these pieces in here are quite cheap. I mean, with the exception of probably that uh, rainbow chalice up in the background there, but uh, the majority of pieces in this tank range from 15 to $35. Um, hard to believe, but uh, no, that, that's legit. They're well encrusted frags. Check out this uh, rainbow galaxia. Crazy, crazy stuff. I got uh, the DSLR out to get some uh, footage of that. And I just slowed it down a little bit so you could have a look. But uh, I've never seen a Galaxia with uh, three or four different colors on it. But uh, there it is in the flesh. Check it out. DSLR from the top down really brought out the yellows. And um, wow, that's... I don't like Galaxia. They're a stingy coral. But uh, look at the colors on it. Just crazy. Now... <laughs> I know I'm getting excited. It's hard not to get excited, but uh, yeah, we've got so many frags in this front tank here, and this is one of so many more tanks to come. But uh, yeah, you've got that crazy rainbow chalice mother out there. They do have a couple of frags of this for sale, but uh, I didn't even bother asking because I know they would not be cheap. But the majority of pieces in this tank, you see the standards, $15 to $35 Australian. Premiums go from $45 to $95 Australian, and then the high-end stuff like that. Uh, Rainbow Chalice is obviously a price on application. So it's good to know that uh, despite some of the crazy level of high-quality gear, you can still get things at a decent price. And uh, look at the color on that uh, Phoenix Danae Montipora there. You've got some nice basic red caps, some Rainbow Montes. We've got uh, some Leptos in there, all sorts of different uh, Montes and Acros absolutely uh, everything for something for everyone's taste in there and uh, check out this Lobo I believe this was uh, featured on Reef Builders crazy colors in there my camera is struggling a little bit to pick up the true color here but uh, that hammer is well known for uh, anyone that's visited aquamarine aquaristic quite a famous hammer the uh, T5 combination of this tank is just uh, struggling with my camera. Well, my camera's struggling with the T5 combination, but uh, I've got a few pictures that are overlaid with the DSLR so you can really see some of the colors in this tank. This tank here, these pieces are not technically for sale. Well, not all of them are for sale. These are some of the grow out pieces that I then take frags from, but it's awesome to be able to see. Check out this uh, little uh, chalice here. Just, um, you know, lazy little bit of color in that one. No problems at all. It's nice to be able to see the mothers or the brood stock growing in the same condition. So you can have a look and see what the mother's like and it'll help guide your decision when buying frags. And um, we've got some cool frags up the top there of uh, uh, Walt Disney, Fox Flame, PC Rainbow, all the big name stuff. So all just sitting in there for you to see. We'll scroll around so we can have a look at the other side of this tank. Like I mentioned, it is a shallow lagoon. We can see those hammers over there. 
just crazy stuff. Shallow Lagoon with a big bank of T5, making sure they get plenty of par to grow and grow quickly. And you can see the way they frag some of these pieces here to make different mother colonies. Check out that, that cherry blossom there. Absolutely stunning. Come across here. Oh, like I said, you, you could look at these corals all day and still find new things. This beautiful piece here with uh, the nice white polyps. I need to get my hands on some of that because it's just stunning. Let's see what else we can find here. Look at this, uh, the, the red and green split across the uh, coralites there. It's just something else. Move on to another tank. Yes, another tank. Looks like we've got a uh, black tank in there. I don't think he's a Scopaz. Look at this Hystrix here. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, again, another grow out tank. So uh, these pieces in here are technically not for sale, but you can buy frags of those pieces either as fresh cuts or of course encrusted. I've spotted one of the corals that I absolutely need to have a piece of, and that is a Pikachu. Have a look at the colors of it. I will be taking a frag of that home because I have waited a long time to get my hands on Pikachu. Glad to say that uh, I'm able to pick up a PC from Aquamarine Aquaristic. So that's coming home with me. Let's see what else we can find. We'll come around the corner here. We've got some, uh, some beautiful uh, little pieces in here. Some of these purples and greens. Look at that. I'm definitely taking that one home. That specific coral is coming home with me. We've got, uh, look at these um, Echinatas there growing just vertically. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Got some more pieces along here, some more of that purple and green. There's a Hystrix that I will take home with me. That's absolutely stunning. Have a look at this piece here with uh, just the various polyps. You know the tanks are in good shape when you've got uh, acros with polyp extension that crazy. We're back to the first tank there, so I'm going to uh, pick up the camera and we'll come around and see what else we can find. There is another display tank here, believe it or not. This one is the uh, the one that Jacob says gets no love whatsoever. He literally uh, drains water out of another system into this one. Um, every now and then, we've got a little orange fungi factory down there, just spitting out the pups. We've got some cool torches. We've got some little single lobo heads in there. And uh, just over to the right here is just, you know, a little easy tank with a couple of orange nems, a forest fire, a um, jawbreaker, and of course, you know, just a beautiful OG bounce there. Just, uh, you know, chilling out as you do, just... Um, Absolutely mind-blowing. You've got a beautiful uh, red and blue Hedoni, I'm pretty sure those are. Another red in there. Uh, you've got a massive sea of uh, green star polyps, super long star polyps there. Crazy, crazy stuff, but uh, it doesn't end there. We've got uh, some some more uh, pieces in here, just uh, still in the coloring up process, but um, it, these would be pretty crazy uh, accurate to see at any other store, and they almost take a back seat here. But uh, you can see some frags in there just getting encrusted. We'll pan across to the left and see what else we can find here. We've got uh, the uh, hammer tank. These ones are for sale, and you can see some crazy pieces in here. Obviously, we've got uh, some greens, but uh, there's some oranges. Some of these are uh, large colonies. Some of these have been cut down to frags. Come across, we've got some blastos. We've got uh, some, uh, I think they're, uh, I've forgotten the name of them, the not clove polyps. Very nice anyway. We've got Lepto. We've got uh, some uh, Rainbow Montes there. But if you really want to see some Montes, check out the Monty tank here. I picked out a couple of pieces from here, including a beautiful uh, uh, Salty Pet Tickled Pink Monty. Absolutely beautiful. A uh, combination between Salty Pets and Jason Fox, I believe. But a uh, very, very nice piece. And uh, you can just see such an assortment of uh, Montes here. I must admit, I probably didn't give them the time of day that I should have before. And uh, when you see them all together in a tank like this, you realize how beautiful they are. Pan down here, we've got uh, just <laughs> a few lazy recorder in here, including some absolutely uh, eye-burning orange ones. And then uh, we've got some more coral pieces down here. Some more of your standard pieces here. But, um, you know, I guess uh, can't, everything can't be ultra, ultra, ultra ex export a grade stuff but uh i tell you what we go pretty close to it here um <laughs> we've got uh some track affiliates here some crazy ones on there too we've got a hammer just uh recovering up the back there we've got some more basic hammers here you can see the price is like small five bucks <laughs> five bucks a head for hammer that's um that's crazy come on over here check out uh the absolute uh beast of a look down uh top down viewer that thing is like the size of maybe about three or four A3 sheets of paper. So you can really take in all of the corals in this tank with looking through that. It's not like a little porthole. You can see we've got some nice uh, acros in there in grow out mode, some more mother colonies. We've got some basic pieces here, like some uh, Polisopora, a gigantic uh, forest fire digi, which um, used to be the bee's knees here in Australia, but uh, it grows so quick that it's fairly common now. I did pick a piece up of that for my uh, dream reef tank because... Um, 
I never really got the chance to grow that out in any sort of a size or fashion. So I'm keen to do that in this new tank. And there's those beautiful, healthy looking yellow tangs worth their weight in, uh, well, not so much in gold, worth their weight in something much more valuable than gold at the moment. Got some nice uh, ACAN frags there. Check out these beautiful hammers. Uh, these are ones from WA, just absolutely stunning. Look at the yellow and gold and greens on there, just stunning. We've got some uh, red Monty cap there. Pan across, we've got, yes, more tanks. <laughs> Look at these, absolutely stunning. Burning red, just, it, wow, they are bright. Got a little copper band butterfly in there, keeping things all under control. Pan across here into some Wilson eyes there. Look at the colors on that one. Just beautiful. The super vibrant greens. Look at the yellows on that. Oh, just stunning. Now, these pieces, I believe, are for sale. In fact, I don't believe I know they're for sale. These ones are not grow out. You've got some uh, gold torch there. Uh, we've got some Montes in the background. We've got some Lobos. We've got some very nice gold hammers there. Onto some reverses, some models. And yes, there's more tanks. There's a lot to see here at Aquamarine Aquaristic. We'll just uh, have a look. We've got some candy cane frags there. We've got uh, some chalice. We've got some uh, maize. See the prices there, 35, 45 bucks. Um, going up is a little bit beautiful pectina there. That's an absolute cracker. Uh, looks like uh, we've got brains. We've got some chalice. Uh, some moon corals, some favias. Uh, let's see what else we can find here. Some more favias. Oh, there's a nice little modeled one. Very, very nice. You see some uh, leptos up there on the top shelf. Back into some nice chalice too. I do have a soft spot for some chalice. Got a couple of Wilsoni there just recovering in the corner. Pop on over here. Let's have a look. You can see a big uh, forest fire digi in the background there. Got a little uh, Rhodactus box. Some Goniopora loving life there. Uh, we've got some acro up there. You can see uh, green acro, 20 bucks each if you buy uh, five pieces. So you can buy five colonies of acro for $100 Australian. Obviously, these ones here in the tile will grow out. That's a beautiful piece there. I'm not sure what that is named, but uh, maybe PC Rainbow, maybe not. Either way, beautiful piece. They are not included in the uh, five for uh, 20. <laughs> you pay a little bit more for that, but uh, your standard green aquapora back there, you can take them and get them in your tank. Uh, see if you can get them to color up, because as we know, uh, wild corals tend to color up a little bit differently um, under aquarium lighting. And if you get the, your uh, trace elements right and you give them the right sort of spectrum, who knows what you will get. But um, we've got some more standard hammers. We've got some... Uh, Let's see, we've got some uh, chalice down there. We've got, uh, yeah, some other frags and they're growing out. And uh, just change the camera a little bit because I just want to show that it's not just about uh, corals here. Obviously, the store is coral dominant, but uh, you can pick up your dry goods supplies here. Got a good assortment of uh, aquaforest test kits and supplements. We've got Vitalis. We've got uh, these cool dosing containers. They're huge. They look like about 10 liter dosing containers. Um, what else we got? We've got uh, frozen foods. We've got buckets of salt. We've got Red Sea test kits and supplements. We've got some more corals, but uh, there are also some fish available for sale as well. However, it would be fair to say that this store's primary focus is ultra high-end coral. Personally, for me, it's particularly the SBS frags, but uh, there's also no shortage of uh, the absolutely mind-bending LPS as well. So, I'm nearing the end of this video, just as we look at some of the fish and some of the other scenarios in here. Uh, we've got some leathers as well, believe it or not. It's not just about the uh, crazy high-end hard stuff. We've got uh, the other end of the spectrum of the super easy to keep uh, soft corals. Beautiful scopaz tang there, blue tang, some chromis. But uh, yeah, let's just have a little look at this uh, this show-stopping hammer and a little bit more at the deshies before we wrap things up. I guess what I wanted to say about this video just before I finish is that uh, as much as I've done my best to try and replicate some of the beauty of these corals um, on this video, you really need to, if you're anywhere in Australia particularly, but if you're definitely, if you're in Victoria, head on in store, pop in and see Jacob. You don't even have to go in there to buy anything. Just go in and check out these display tanks because I promise you, you will not see a more crazy collection of corals in one place than you will see here. And you never know, you may pick yourself up a little a frag or two of some crazy SPS that you've been chasing like I did because I personally ended up bringing home a dozen pieces. Sounds like a lot. Um, don't get me wrong. They're all frags. It's okay. I haven't gone crazy and loaded my tank up. I'll do a video shortly to show you all the uh, pieces that I picked up. 
the show for me, the showpiece for me was a little Walt Disney frag that I um, managed to pick up, but also the uh, Pikachu frag and then a couple of other little bits and pieces. But the uh, Walt Disney and the Pikachu for me were absolute uh, stars of the day and um, being able to see the uh, mother colonies growing in the same tank so I can see the colors, I can see how they've been cut, I can see how they're healed is just, um, it's just on another level. So thank you very much, Jacob, and also Alan for letting me in and letting me bring the camera along for the day. I had an absolute ball. I stayed there for about three and a half hours when I think I actually had about 30 minutes to um, check out the store. So uh, I was willing to get in trouble for that because it was absolutely worth the journey. So again, in Doncaster, if uh, you get the opportunity, head on in store, check it out, say hi to Jacob and Alan. I'll wrap things up there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, questions, feedback, pop it in the comment section down below. And last but not least, if you're yet to subscribe, please smash that subscribe button. It goes a long way to helping me out on this journey. But until next time, guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.